In this presentation, we are going to have a quick look at the binomial distribution. Now, this is actually a um, very simple procedure uh, by comparison to other similar procedures, for example, the chi-square test or Poisson test. But it's, let's include it anyway in our list. So what it does is compare the number of successes observed in a given number of trials with a hypothesized probability of success. So essentially what we're going to do is specify P and if it's not specified P is equal to considered equal to 0.5. So uh, first off let's get the help file going here um, I'll tell you I just this just needs a second to load up. What I'll do is actually go, I have it actually open in the background so I'll just go back there. Uh, so it performs the exact uh, exact binomial test performs an exact test of a simple null hypothesis uh, given the, about the probability of success in a Bernoulli experiment. So it's a single Bernoulli experiment there's no there's only a one sample version of this by the way and uh, so X is the number of successes and or other actually there's two ways uh, I'll actually there's two ways of doing this actually I'll do it both ways but actually if you just read the um, uh, the number of successes or a vector of length 2 given the number of successes or failures respectively. So that's going to be a bit of a shot. And number of trials ignored if x has length 2. So there's two ways of uh, conveying the same information. So I'll do it the first way. Yes, there we go. So binome dot test uh, let's say we're going for 12 out of 20. So 12 successes out of 20. And we're assuming that the probability of success is not 0.4, let's say. Okay, not 0.4. Okay. And let's do that. There we go. The exact binome test. Data, 12 and 20. Number of successes equals 12. Number of trials, 20. P-value, 0.1. Uh, 0 0.1075 there we go the alternative hypothesis true value of the successes is not equal to 0 0.4 I just went for 0 0.4 there just to sort of make it a little bit hard okay so the the null hypothesis is that it is equal to 0 0.4 and we failed to reject the null hypothesis okay so we can sort of there's nothing. There's not enough. Uh, there's no not enough evidence to suggest that it's not not 0.4. But uh, based on the uh, data, we would sort of the based on the sample itself, the probability of success based on the sample is not 0.6, and with a 95% confidence interval of 0.36 to 0.80. Okay, uh, 0.4 is in that range of values. That's why we fail to reject the null hypothesis. Just actually, if you're not clear about that, it sort of says like based on the data here. It, say, it seems that the probability of success is 0.6, okay? But this t uh, experiment does not disprove the idea that it could be 0.4. Disprove is a very strong word in statistics, but essentially there's not enough evidence to t uh, presented here to suggest that the probability of success is not 0.4, okay? 0 0.4. Uh, let's do it the other way. Uh, it's really more or less the same here. Essentially what I'm going to do is supply a vector of the number of successes and the number of failures. Okay, So inherently there is 12 trials there, number of successes, number of failures and the probability of success there is 0.4. The exact same again uh, apart from that, number of successes equals 12, number of trials equals 20. Apart from that actually it's the exact same as what I've just done previously. Uh, okay, that's it. There's no, I don't know of a two-way uh, procedure or two-sample procedure. I don't know. I don't think there's uh, a way of comparing one process with another uh, with this. So I'll just leave it there. For example, what the Poisson test there is. Uh, okay, we'll leave it there.